Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Comedian Michael Allen. Well, y'all know we're going to get some good old cooking, some excellent comedy, going to have us a strong cocktail, and do a whole lot of cussing when we're in the kitchen with my little brother. What do you got cooking for us today? Let's go find out. Good morning, good morning, good morning, my 4C gang. Happy Saturday morning. How y'all feeling on a Saturday morning? Look, y'all, I'm feeling better. I ain't as hungover as I used to be because y'all know how I am. I get hungry. Dip, dip. No. But welcome to another episode of Cook It with Comedian Michael Allen. Look, we the 4C gang for life over here. What we do? We cook. We do comedy. We do us some cussing. And we have us a whole lot of cocktails. All right, y'all. I'm cooking breakfast this morning. I woke up. I said, you know what? I'm a little hungry. Well, no, I'm going to tell the truth. I woke up, I smoked me a joint. And then I said, damn, nigga, you got the munchies. <laughs> but anyway, so I don't want any eggs. Um, I've had eggs. That um, Dirty Dozen Challenge did something to me, you guys. I don't know. But I ate some eggs, what was it, yesterday, earlier, day before? Well, today I'm going to make me some bacon. I'm going to make some pancakes. I'm going to make some, some potatoes with peppers and onions. And probably have some fruit with that. And that's going to be my thing. So today I just wanted to show you a couple of things. You know, I said I need to start teaching a little more in my video. Okay. So you see I got onions already. I mean, I got my peppers already cut. I said you guys didn't need to see me cut any peppers. Okay. And one thing about when you're cooking. Oh, I got my dirty pot. This is my macaroni and cheese pot. I got to let soak. <laughs> You know, black folk, we got to soak some stuff. So anyway. Hold on. Oh, I forgot these small gloves. You know, whenever I wear gloves, I need the extra large ones. I need extra large gloves. Everything big on me. Every damn thing. Okay. So, I'm going to take this onion right here, you guys. I'm just going to cut it in half because I'm not going to need the, the whole onion, right? So. Put that right there. I like to cut off this little end here. Okay. Of course, you got to take the pillow off. Oh, yeah. So, in order to cut a good, nice cut of onion mince, not even mince, but just small onions, you always want to go horizontal. I think that's the right way. A couple of times. And then you want to go vertical. Or it's just diagonal. But it's one of those. And you just make little cuts in here. I don't know if you guys can see. I cut it that way and then I cut it this way. And then you go across it. And you got little small onions. And they're very, um, it's very easy to cut. That's about how big I want my onions right there. Now, wasn't that easy? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I got a, I got a couple of potatoes here that I cut up. Okay. I want my, you know, I'm putting the potatoes on because the potatoes cook the longest. That's like, I tell people this all the time. When it comes to cooking, all your food should be actually done at the same time. At least at the same time. Uh, you know, just waiting on one thing, whatever, whatever take the longest you put on the first. I mean, you put on first. That that should be a given. I love hash browns, and I also love some. Uh, they call these American fries. That's what they really call them. Some American fries. Okay, we're gonna get. Now, what I don't have, y'all, and I don't know why I keep forgetting. You know, I'm going to the grocery store tomorrow. I got to make a list. I never make a list. I always think I'm going to remember what it is I want. But I need some garlic. I can't believe I keep forgetting garlic and parsley. Two things that I love in this dish, but I know how to improvise. Because I'm a chef, baby. Yes. Okay. So, this is everything you need for your potatoes with onions and peppers. Okay, you guys, I got a little butter in the pan right here. So, 
now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my potatoes right on in there. My green peppers and my onion. Now normally I would have garlic as well, but you got to make do with what you got. Okay. So first you want to, I like to caramelize my potatoes. Because eventually you're going to add a little bit of water. Go in here. Break up the um, green peppers. Don't be scared to touch your food either. Don't be scared to touch it. I love to be touched. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to um, saute this up. So we get a nice little brown glaze on it. Then we'll be adding some liquid to it. You can add chicken stock. Not much. You just want the potatoes to cook all the way through. Okay, we're back. I'm still sauteing this up. You notice I put a little butter in there. So it can start turning brown. I'm going to add the season now. I'm going to add a little bit of seasoned salt. Lori. I'm going to add my go-to season, complete seasoning. Garlic powder. Since I don't have any... A little extra of that. I like my garlic paste. Some pepper. A little bit of Italian seasoning. And last but not least, a little bit of Goya. Give it some color. Regular Sasson. Sasson Goya. And now I'm going to add some tropical. Some tropical Sasson. Okay. So now you just want to Put all that season in there. That's the dump that looks good. So we we'll let that go. Now I'm about to put on my bacon. My God, this smells so good. Get all that goodness from down there. back so what we're gonna do here we still got these potatoes caramelizing you can put some water in there just not even quite over all of them you see that about that much and you're gonna put a top on here you're gonna cover them and you're gonna let them do their thing let them do what they do damn it yeah okay, i got a pack of bacon here so i'm gonna do me some bacon you know i did that bacon that dirty dozen challenge but the bacon did not bother me at all so I just love bacon. I can eat bacon every day. I really could. I can eat pork wrapped in pork. So I just pray one day that they don't tell me I can't eat fried food no more. That would just kill me. Or I can't have pork. Jesus. Jesus, take the wheel, Jesus. Those are lies. Those are lies and more lies and more lies. And more like now, so I have a little pancake mix, just regular Aunt Jemima, just add water, any any of those kind. I put a little sugar in there because uh oh, hold on. Uh oh, I think I, Oh well it happens, I gotta get it. <laughs> See you have mistakes in the kitchen, baby. Okay, so I'm just Putting that sugar and that pancake together. Now I'm gonna add some water and go ahead and do the thing. I like thin pancakes. I don't like my pancakes so so thick. I got my bacon going in the background. Let me just do this till you get so consistent. Oh shit! What is wrong with me today? It is what it is. Hell, let me stand up. See, you can't be a lazy cook like I was just trying to be either. Okay, see, that's still too thick for me. So now. See, it's all, yeah. Just, I'm gonna loosen it just a little. Just a little teeny bit. Okay. I like nice airy pancake. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla to it. Just 
couple of drops of vanilla. I'm gonna add a little ground spice, some cinnamon, and uh, last but not least, I'm gonna put a little, little bit of lemon zest in there. down to the white part you just want to get just so you get to the white part see and I like this oh I love that lemon smell fresh lemon lime I mean lemon zest let me tell you these is the bomb oh this smells so good look at that baby look they're ready to go got the bacon doing this thing right here come on bacon Put one of these pancakes up here. I got a little oil and butter. Well, I can smell this lemon. I wanted some waffles, but I can't find my waffle maker. You know how you move everywhere I go? I mean, every day I'm finding something. I'm, or I'm realizing there's something that I had that I just don't have anymore. I'm so pissed about it. I got one of the pancakes in there. See, sometimes it depends on how your stove is. Your pancakes will cook unevenly. And that's why you have to just keep maneuvering it. It's not the color I want yet. Um, I use a little butter and oil because I think those two mi mix together so well. So after this, my dinner, you know, make a couple more of these. My dinner, I mean, my breakfast almost done. Look at me calling it dinner because I'm ready for dinner. <laughs> I love me some pancakes, y'all. Is the finished product pancakes, bacon, old potatoes, onions, and peppers? And you got a little side of fruit there. Come on, y'all. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? What up? What up, my 4 C gang? Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Comedian Michael Allen. How y'all doing today? Baby, it's breakfast time, it's breakfast time. Y'all know what? I wanted to make me some waffles so bad, and I can't find my waffle maker. I see the waffle box, but it's not in there. Them storage people went in my stuff and stole. Anyway, y'all, I ain't gonna let the devil steal my joy today because I feel so good and so blessed. Look, I got me some pancakes. I got some bacon. I got potatoes with onions and peppers. I got apple and orange just because, just a little fruit. I love my little fruit. Hey. Ah, wow. And even better than that, I love my cup. Cooking with comedian Michael Allen. What we do, cooking, comedy, cussing, damn it. <laughs> And some show enough uh, cocktails. Okay, today my cocktail is milk. Y'all know, cocktail can be whatever you want it in your mind. And you can, hell, if you want it, liquor with your breakfast, drink it. You want to be with you, drink it. If you want to drink pee, that's you. I, who am I to go? Oh, y'all just foul. Y'all foul for us again. All right, y'all. I got to go into my prayer. Woo. Dear Father God, I thank you. I thank you for this Saturday, Father God. I thank you for allowing me to make it to the year 2020, Father God, from 1969. Father God, and I hope you let me get to 2069, Father God. I know you said in your word that you will never leave us, nor will you forsake us. And you said all oh, in the midnight hour, you will give us peace. <laughs> 
You say all we have to do is just ask and abide in your word and we shall receive, Father God. I ask you for longevity in life. But most of all, Father God, I just want to thank you for this food that I'm about to receive this morning for the nourishment of my body. Thank you for my wonderful, beautiful parents, Father God. I cannot thank you enough. You know, Mother Day just passed and Father's Day here. And I still can se celebrate both of them with a smile, Father God. So this day, <laughs> in between Mother's Day and Father's Day, I make this my parents' day. I love my mama, Father God. I thank you for allowing her to be the vessel to bring me into this world. I love my Father God. I thank you for allowing him to have enough class and swag to get my mama to give it up. No, I'm <laughs> I ask all these things in your son, Jesus' name. Amen. I love you, Lord. I love you. What? Don't judge me. Don't ju judge yourself. God knew I was going to say that prayer even before I prayed it. Come on, people. Okay. I can take this. I was having it. I was trying to make it proper and sit up, but I don't know what I'm going to do, y'all. This is a little piece of paper I had under there. Oh, well. Y'all saw the damn thing. How y'all doing today? Okay, I want to put some syrup on here, but first I gotta, I mean, this stuff looks so good, y'all. Let me cut these pancakes. My pancakes look like the ones off the box, baby. You know, if you use oil by itself, you'll get a lighter pancake. If you use butter by itself, you're going to get a darker pancake. I normally like mine darker, but I didn't want all that butter today. I just didn't want it. I just didn't want it. Oh, y'all remember what all I put in them um, pancakes, lemon, vanilla, um, allspice, cinnamon. Come on, people. Y'all don't know breakfast like I know breakfast. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, that just got me a little hot. A little hot and bother. Okay. See, oh, this, y'all see that? Can y'all see it? Oh, oh, I knew I was going to do it. Oh, well, the devil tried that, didn't he? Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, my God. Oh, try the lemon zest. Try the lemon zest, people. When I can cook this so good, my damn... Oh, that's just a burst of flavor in your mouth. Mmm. Mm-mm. <laughs> so how are y'all doing today? Come on, let me Hold up, y'all. This is so damn good. Oh God, you know how you chew too fast? Mmm. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That's Thorn Apple Valley bacon. I, I don't know if y'all have a Thorn Apple Valley in y'all city. In your neck of the world. Mm. And look, after... I put the peppers and potatoes on. I, I got some garlic, fresh garlic. But this is delicious. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. My God. You know what? So this ties in. The way I'm feeling right now really ties into what the hell it is I want to fucking say to that. Mmm. Oh, that, that pop of um, lemon. It's amazing how one little thing, one little technique can change your whole taste. Uh, I'm feeling so good and vibrant and blessed this morning. Especially, you know, Just my parents. People say, you talk about your parents so much, you're damn right I do. They ain't always been perfect. But neither have I. <laughs> we so quick. To, we so quick. You did this to me. You did. You did this. You did that. 
life too short. But anything I think that my parents did wrong, I forgave them a long time for a long time ago for it. Huh? How can I expect God to forgive me if I can't forgive my parents for whatever they might have done? But I would say this this man and woman right here. Couldn't nobody else had to handle me. They probably would have killed my ass. So I made this officially parents day. Um my mother, I had the perfect parent. I mean perfect parent for it to be my parent. My mother was a strong, dominant one. I think that's why we both had the same name, because we both dominant and strong. And my daddy, the more docile, laid back. My daddy never, ever whooped me. I've never gotten a whooping from my father. It was time, though. My mama used to beat my ass so bad. I would look at my daddy and say, Excuse me, yo, hey. My nigga, you think you can come over and whoop me? Because I think you'll whoop me a little more less. My God. My mama ran the house. My daddy provided, but my mama ran it. And that worked. Because if I had had a strong black man father, huh, and me still being who I am, oh, we would have bumped heads. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. It would have been some problem. Damn right. Mm -mm. So I got the father that still give me a hug and a kiss every time we see each other. And I'm 51. No, I like saying 51. I'm 51, damn it. Are you old people? Y'all better stop thinking because you old ain't nobody going to kick your ass. Because some of y'all old people be just going... <laughs> I'm joking. Nobody should ever put their hands on an old person. I'm terrified of my mom, and I tell people that all the time. My mom would actually... I don't even want to talk about it. My mother shot at me one time. Yeah. I think I was 16. Thought I was grown. Hanging with my cousin and them. I didn't like her boyfriend. Oh, I couldn't stand my mama's one boyfriend. I didn't. I don't like none of them. I don't like the one she would not. They've been together 33 years. But anyway, ain't no man good enough for my mama. So, but my daddy. <laughs> so, um, and I questioned him some damn time. So anyway, she was going with this one guy. And wow, I think it was J July the 4th, and I was at the age where you're not my motherfucking daddy, and you're not finna just come to me sideways and all that, you know, and I thought I was grown anyway at 16, hell, I was having sex, <laughs> that was grown. When you get that, when you bust that first one, baby, can't nobody tell you, you just know you grown. You start walking a little different. Uh, voice get a little deep. Cause you think you're a man. But anyway, my mama said something to me. My grandmother was in the backyard, family. And he said something to me and I cussed him out. And my mama really thought, I guess she was in me being a child. You know, back then I thought she was taking his side. Looking at it now, I was a child, shouldn't be, I shouldn't have been talking to no adult like that. But see, I didn't look at it like that then. And so anyway, my mama wanted to swing and hit me. My mama always, my mama still was swinging and hit me. That's a damn shame. It's abuse. How can you be have child abuse at 51 years old? Oh, well, anyway, I leave out the backyard and I go sit down on the front porch. I'm mad at my mama. I'm mad at 
her boyfriend. I'm just mad, mad, man. Mad at my sisters because they ain't brothers. <clears throat> we all could have been whooping on my mama boyfriend ass. So, my cousins pulled up. I'll never forget this. And I'm sitting on the front porch. Now, the house we lived in, it was bakery right next door. But you could walk in between the bakery and our house and get to the backyard. And I didn't know it echoed like it did. I never knew that. You say something, it echoes to the back. My cousin said, hey, little Michael, what you doing sitting out here? I was like, nothing, nothing. I ain't say nothing. So they went in the back, talked to my mama. Now, they come back and said, little Michael, your mama said he come in the back. I say, fuck her. <laughs> but I said it to them. Okay, don't act like I'm the only child that ain't. Am I the only person that ain't never said in your mind, fuck you? Or this old bitch crazy? In your mind, you probably. I ain't said it out loud, but in my mind, I'm okay, this this half a crazy. Uh uh. You ain't never said, shit, one, one more time to hit me, I'm gonna kick her, I'm gonna kick her old ass. <laughs> but I didn't say that out loud, I would think that. So. I said, when they said, little Michael, your mama wants you. And I was like, fuck her. I ain't going no damn where. I didn't know that it echoed to the back. Baby, about two minutes later, I'm sitting there on the porch. And I turn, I see my mama walking from the backyard. And I turn. Oh, my God. I didn't even know she hurt me. But the way she was walking with her hands behind her back was like, Bitch, I'm about to kill you. I swear. I took off running. She looked so mean. My cousins took off running with me. No. Oh, yeah, I went to take off running. Her boyfriend tried to, he almost caught me. When he caught me, he grabbed me by the neck. Baby, my cousins wore that ass out. Oh, we wore that ass. Then that's when my mama shot. To this day, I knew she had a gun because she always had one. <laughs> to this day, she keeps talking about, boy, you mine. I shot up in the air. I said, Mama, you a damn lie. I felt that bullet go past my damn ear. I ain't never ran that fast in my life, doctor. I ran all the way up on the busy street, Livinois Retirement, and they, they had this liquor store in the Coney Island was right next to it. I ran up in the Coney Island. I was like, call the police. <laughs> I called the police. My mama pulled up in that car. And she opened that cone out the door and she said uh, to the owner, Sir, whatever, the, whatever I fuck up in here, I'm going to pay you because I'm about to kill this bitch. <laughs> I ran over to the table. I swear this is such a true story. It's funny now. I was scared as hell to hear. But the two, a man and lady was sitting at the table eating. I crawled up under their table. <laughs> They lifted their legs. I didn't crawl under. Mama, my mama is swinging under the table trying to kill me. Oh, my God. I mean, literally. Mama, you was wrong. And, and the owner was like, no, 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 no. Mama, mama no, no. And you, you know what? My mama, one of them black women. You don't tell me nothing about mine. If I want to kill this little motherfucker right here, better not nobody say nothing. Oh, she killed me with that. And the police came. Finally. I was so I ain't never been so happy to see the damn police in my life. I can really smile about this now, but I was oh that was terrifying. And uh the police was she was like, This is my motherfucking child, and he gonna disrespect me. She said, I will kill him. Y'all need to take me to jail right prison right now. I was like, Oh God, she thought this. I wish they had a handcuffed her and took her ass. And then she's like, this is mine. He ain't going to disrespect me. And the policeman was like, look, but it ain't nothing we can do. You 16? I was like, yeah. They said, well, you got to go to your mama. I said, uh, uh, take me to juvenile. <laughs> I'd rather take my chair there and go into that house with her tonight. And thank God for my Uncle Leslie, my grandmother's brother. He came. He was like, I'll take me to go to my house. All right, thank you, Uncle Lesson.
Then he went over there and checked the hell out of my mom's boyfriend. He said, you ain't his daddy. Don't put your hands on him. Mm. And see, my daddy is not the aggressive type. Since he's gotten older, oh, he cussed me out now. One day he cussed me out. I said, excuse me. And don't you think you're about 30, 40 years too late? You should have been doing that shit earlier. But they don't mean nothing to me now. My daddy got a deep old boy. He talked like this. Oh, boy. I say, damn. And my mother has a deep boy. She really do. And that's why I have... I had this voice ever since I was about 11 or 12. I woke up one day. Who the hell? I said, oh, shit. Where that come from? My mama comes to my boy. Stop playing with your boy. Stop playing with it. I said, mama, my voice is just... Oh, they were just... Uh, I'm mad now. My mother hates her voice because it's deep. That's why she scared people a lot. Sit your ass out. Oh, you sit down. She hates when she calls places because they always saying, thank you, sir. She be like, I ain't no motherfucking sir. She be like, okay, Michael. <laughs> okay, Michael. <laughs> I ain't no motherfucking sir. Okay, Miss Michael. <laughs> With that name, too? Oh. I never thought, thought about it. Y'all see how good the potatoes are. The bacon. Oh. Mmm. What do I always say? If you don't cook, just kill yourself. Oh, shit. Oh, hell. I didn't do my disclaimer, did I? What is my disclaimer? If you weak, you timid, you bitch ass, your feelings get hurt real easy. You don't like to hear people talk about nobody. You don't want people to tell their real feelings and, and hurt you and make you feel some type of way. Well, let me tell you, this channel right here, Cooking with Comedian Michael Allen, 4C Gang for Life, Cooking, Comedy, Cuts, and a Cocktail. This ain't the channel for you. It's not. And your feelings will get hurt. We might say some shit you just don't like. That's only my opinion. How can I? How can my opinion of what I think of you change you? Because your opinion of what you think of me ain't going to change me. But it's not even all about that. I just wanted to also say, I am one of the nicest people. I love on people. I'm the most free heart. But... I'm very blunt. I'm blunt and I'm vocal. But don't let what I think. You know, have y'all, have you ever been somewhere? Or, and it may not have been you, one of your friends. And y'all having a good time and then somebody walk in that they can't stay in an a-hole attitude chain. Now they ain't having fun no more. How do you allow somebody to have that much control over you in the way you feel? Bitch, you cannot alter my mood. You will not alter my mood. I can say what I say and then I let that shit go. But see, I get that from my parents. I get that from both my parents. Not to give a damn what somebody thinks. Keep going, reach for it. If you think you can do it, you can do it. Don't let nobody. This, I ain't never asked nobody how this looked when I got dressed. You know what? Because I liked it. I, it wasn't about nobody else. I had a friend. I ain't going to say no name, but I was just, we just, okay. Anyway, it's a guy. He said, you know, oh, somebody else said that, so they might be true. Miss Clayley Woods and Alec Kane, yes, I'm calling y'all out. Said, did you notice when we talk, it's usually always about you? I want to say I'm the only exciting one in here, in this conversation. What should we talk about? How, mm, mm, get it in where you fit in. You know what? I must. I motivate myself. I don't really. So they're probably right. They're probably right. They're probably fucking right. So what? I'm gonna change that a little bit. I'll learn to just listen. Have the shit be boring anyway. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't call. I don't call nobody too much. Phyllis is the only one I really call. Other than that, 
Because I know I talk about me. I know I, me, me, me. Yeah. But when I die, I don't want nobody else naming my bitch. Where I just wanted to be all pictures of me and the whole thing about me. I don't even, you know, I don't even care who doing the solace. I don't want their name. And I don't even want the pastor name who preacher. I don't know what happened to my video, bro. Yeah, I don't even want the pastor name in there. I don't want the name of the church that I'll be at in there. I don't even want the Bruno home name. Michael, 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 me, 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 me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, you guys, look. I'm going to get up off of here. How about this? We're at 809 subscribers. My 4C gang. 809. We're going to get to that thousand before we know it. We don't got to do it. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Huh? Won't he do it for cooking comedy? Cussing and cocktail. Cooking comedy. Cussing and cocktail. Cooking comedy. Cussing and cocktail. Yeah, damn it. Food is so good. Ain't nothing like a, ain't nothing like a foodie guy. <laughs> a foodie ass nigga. Mm. But yeah, anyway, y'all, and you make sure you go down below. Like, subscribe, share, comment. I love reading the comments. I love reading them. I love interacting with you guys. Um, I've never given out my Instagram page. It's Comedian Allen. Comedian Allen. A L L E N. I'll pop up all my little pictures of my food and me cooking. Oh my God. Y'all know what? See this breakfast? This make me feel so good. I'm gonna take this bowl in my bedroom. Mm -mm. And then me and the fruit, it's own fruit. Huh? Bring your, bring your little fruity ass here. All right, y'all. What's the game? I'm loving y'all. I'm loving y'all. Thank, thank you guys for the love you share. Please. Tell a family, tell a friend, tell a foe, tell an enemy. Whatever you do, just tell them. Go check out my crazy ass, silly ass cooking with comedian Michael Allen. Where they have comedy, cocktails, cussing, and cooking. Okay? All right. Well, I'm going to just tell you this. Well, the last thing I'm going to say, because this is dedicated to my mother and father. I love them so much. Mama and Daddy, I love you. You are my everything. I have to call y'all on a daily basis because I will go crazy. Um, thank you guys for everything you did. Thank you, Mama, for giving me my sister human. Thank you, Daddy, for giving me my compassion. To be compassionate and, and think about what it is that you're doing to others and how you do others. Um, Clinton Waters and Michael Ann Waters, thank you for life. Thank you. This is your only son. I love you, Mama and Daddy. Comedian Michael Allen, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>